Hello, in this video, we are going to look at STDERR, which is the standard error, you know, little output command. Okay, so first of all, let's hash include stdio.h, and in the curly braces for the main, we're going to put a fprintf, open close parenthesis, and in here, to you know output to the standard error you put std err comma and then the error itself this could be potentially formatted that's totally up to you i'm going to say error has occurred i'll put a backslash in to format it a bit so I'll save that run it and there we go so you might be thinking it looks like a regular output and for the most part it will if you know your system has a different way of essentially logging standard errors and standard output then let's say standard output put, gets put into one file or standard error gets put into another file then there will be a distinction so it is useful for using it because depending on how your system is set up it may you know essentially look different the other like for example you might be let's say have a number say int num1 do, 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 and let's say that equals eight and let imagine let's say these are numbers that you've got from the user in num2 let's say the user puts zero and we are doing some sort of division and say if num1 divided or another that if num2 if that equals zero, then what we're going to do is this. Else we would, let's say, printf, or maybe not even printf, fprintf, std out, and then we'll say, doo -doo 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 -doo. we could say something like percent i divided by percent i equals you know percent d for example and uh, we could say for this num1 num2 and num1 divided by num2 okay so if i say that and i run it we get an error error has occurred due to division Let's actually make it contextual, otherwise the user doesn't know what's happening. And let's say if the user was to put in a number of four and run that, we get eight divided by four equals two. So again, they look very similar, but depending on how the standard error and standard output is, is set up, they will operate differently potentially. So that's it for the standard error. Pretty simple stuff. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description. Over, well, it's almost 4,000 members now. I'm confident we'll have 4,000 members. We're on the 29th of June, probably like mid July. But the 15th of July, we should be at 4,000 members. And you can, you know, hold me to that when you'll see me doing videos. Then they see, you know, course is not going to be finished anytime soon. So, yeah. If you have any questions, join that. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.